yeah this is the speaking test for international english language testing system this exam is being held at apco english academy pune my name is madhav more and the time is now 5 o'clock let's begin may i know your full name yes so my first name is abilash and my last name is zadi but you can refer me by first name which is abilash i am going to ask you some questions regarding your profession first do you work or a student i am a student right now but uh, like last i completed my btech last year uh, in mechanical from sanjay gadaut university and currently i am preparing for my ielts why did you choose mechanical field like uh, when i was choosing uh, the uh, field of uh, engineering i came across a lot of people who uh, like advised me for going to mechanical as my core field because at that time mechanical was a booming field and a lot of people were choosing mechanical as their core field and obviously mechanical gave me a lot knowledge so i chose mechanical when did you complete your graduation i completed it my graduation last year which is in 2022 did you work anywhere after completion of graduation no like i i don't got any chance to work in uh, companies like that now the question sir your name now what is the name of what is the meaning of your name like as my name is abhilash uh, which stands for hope and uh, overall hope like if you have any wish then it's abhilash who chose your name like my father chose my, my name abhilash because uh, he wanted a child as a girl but uh, i born so like he wanted to like name his uh, child as abhilasha but i born so they named me abhilash do you like your name yeah obviously it's given by my father then i obviously like it If you get a chance to change your name, will you do it? To be honest, I will not do it because I like my name pretty much. Now let's have some questions regarding future planning. Okay. Sir. Now, what is the future planning? Like, few, obviously, the future is going to be unpredictable. But uh, I stick to a plan, which is I wanted to work in uh, aeronautical companies such as NASA or any ISRO, which deals with space. who inspired you to work like in okay who inspired you to work in nasa and other space uh, institutions like we all know that person elon musk uh, who is doing who is contributing uh, who is contributing a very significant amount in uh, a significant amount of his work in space industry like he recently even uh, sent some probes to explore mars and uh, which led me to more get interested into the space stuffs and he is the reason why i am going for space fit Now that is the end of speaking part one. Now let's start with the part two. You will have some questions. You have to think on the topic for a minute, and you have to speak on the topic for one to two minutes. Okay. Yeah. This is here is a cue card. If you want, you can write the notes on that. Your time begins now. your time is out you can start now okay so like all the people like to collect luxury items so me also like to like uh, have expensive items with me like the list of speaking about the items i want to buy in future there are a lot of things but especially figuring out a particular thing it would be a vr headset as we know the current generation is leading towards vr and virtual reality vr stuff we mostly deals with uh, the vr because we are going to access the virtual world with the help of vr we are speaking about the concept of vr it is just simply a box and uh, it is constructed as it will be placed on uh, in front of our eyes as we place the glasses in front of our eyes 
and simply when we place it we will like uh, see a completely new world like it will it obviously it will be a digitalized uh, fake world but we started to feel like it's completely a real world because it gives the vibes and feels of real world because obviously we are not going to look towards the real worlds we are just going to focus into that virtual worlds and it is obviously futuristic and lots of companies such as facebook instagram already started to work on the worlds which are being vr even the recent news about a country which is sinking due to the rising sea level has uh, come on the vr world which like established their own country in the vr headset and we can access that country with the help of vr and uh, overall the like uh, getting the future generation into vr so i also started to get interested towards uh, the vr headset especially from long time like from three or three or four years like i'm into the vr steps and even i'm collecting my money and even like i secured 80 percent of total amount uh, by which i'm gonna buy the headset in uh, upcoming future and it's obviously going to help me for a lot of aspect in my life like such as educational purposes because obviously as i'm going to place that vr and i'm completely into a new world then i uh, i can explore a lot of things like i previously mentioned i'm interested in space stuff like by placing vr in front of my eyes i can explore the mars with the, uh, by just sitting in uh, on earth and uh, in just my room and even for informational talks also time is out so that is the end of part 2 uh, starting with a part 3 I'm going to ask you questions on part two in detail. Okay. Sir. Which expensive items would you many people, young people in your country like to buy? Like it depends upon their income states. Like if a person is in well condition, like he is, he got a lot of um, amount of money, then he will obviously go for expensive stuff such as phones or uh, jewelries. But when it's come to a middle class people, they will obviously choose for more or less. Um, obviously, it's going to be expensive for them also. But it will be like uh, just simple kind of phones or simple kind of jewellery. How do the expensive items that younger people want to buy differ from those older people? Like young, uh, younger people will mostly go for the things like uh, modern phones or which are more complex. So that younger people's minds obviously are going to explore it. So they will explore through the and come to know about. Whereas speaking about the older people's. They wanted to use just simple things because they don't want to much explore. It depends upon people also. Like I know a lot of older people who are into more expensive stuff too. Do you think that people are more likely to buy expensive items for their friends and for themselves? Yeah, obviously if the person is uh, special enough to buy that much expensive, then people will buy. Like uh, I also buy sometimes uh, expensive things for my mom. Like for her last birthday, I bought a diamond ring for her. How difficult? Okay, how difficult is it to overcome to to become very rich in today's world? Like it's pretty easy. Just focus. Like what the society have deficiency. Like if the customer have some kind of problem, then obviously a lot of people are gonna face that problems. Obviously, like a lot of people will feel like are currently facing. So just focus on the problems. Like what the problems are. And by overcoming those problems, we can like uh, attract people towards that particular product. And obviously, more and people will start to buy that product to make their life easy. And once the product started to get fame, obviously, we are going to reach. Do you agree that money doesn't necessarily bring happiness? In some cases, money can buy happiness when it comes to the spir- uh, materialistic things. But when it comes to the like, if you want to go to peace, like money can't buy always buy happiness. Because I saw a lot of people who have abandoned of money, but they still are sad. Whereas, as compared to the middle class or poor people, they are satisfied in what they have. In what ways might rich, rich, rich people use their money to help society? Like it depends upon that particular uh, person. Like as I earlier mentioned, Elon Musk, he is using his money for a lot of aspects, such as medical. He is also providing free medical services in countries like Africa who can't afford. Uh, medical expenses and even there are lots of people like even uh, Bill Gates is also uh, helping uh, Indian people especially to overcome a lot of difficulties such as uh, is maybe deal with diseases or societal problems they can use their money to solve various aspects of not only theirs but also for community right. so that is the end of speaking test thank you very much <laughs>